up, bro? Very white podcast. I got a special guest today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yes, sir. It's Villainous Kamikaze. Hey, bro. What's up? Nothing much, bro. Just got off work. Just been chilling. Hopped on the game for a little bit. Oh, yeah. How you doing, bro? I'm all right, man. Just chilling, vibing. So I got a good question to start off with. What's the main reason you started making music? And like, how has it impacted your life? All right. This is a good one. So my main inspiration, bro, is Capital Steve's. I've been listening to Capital Steve's since I was like 12 years old. I didn't get too deep into his music. I was more like Joey Badass and shit like that. Until like, say, high school, like I was like 15. And I really got into what he believed in, Mm -hmm. like spirituality and all that. And if I'm going to be honest with you, bro, I was not a good rapper when I first started out. And then I just listened to more of his shit, started listening to X. And like, honestly, bro, I prayed on it. I was like, God, just please give me the skill to do this and to be good at what I do. Right. And then boom, out of nowhere, bro. Like, I shit you not. I shit you not. That's what happened. God is good. Yes, sir. Um, When when did you realize music is is what he wanted to do? Like, after that kind of happened, is that when you really wanted to go with it? Yeah, I would say, um, because I started rapping when I was like 16. So I'd say... Whenever I was 17, that's when I started to take it serious. Right. And I released my first song. I don't know if you heard it, Forbidden Knowledge. I think I was going through some of them. I think I heard that one, too. I was doing uh, Yeah, that, that one, because I'm influenced by MF Doom, too. Right. So that's a RZA and MF Doom beat. So, like, I knew I had to kill that shit. And that's honestly one of my more, like, over-the-top-of-your-head lyrical songs that I have. Right. Like, I talk about topics a lot of people don't know, like Six Degrees of Separation, all that type of shit. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, I noticed in your name, you got 47. Is 47, is that a special meaning behind your name? Like, what is yes, that? Yes, sir. That's all about Capital Steez, man. Pro Era, all that. Right. Fucking Fourth and Seven Shocker, all that shit. Like, honestly, that fucking saved my life, bro. If I'm being 100% honest with you, like, I got it tatted on me. Hell yeah, like Sensei bro. said he was going to get. Yep. No, yeah. I was going to ask you about Sensei. You, you talked to Sensei, you know Sensei? No, yeah, that's my boy. Um, You remember how he was talking about the group chat? Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually one of the people in that group chat. Yeah, bro. No, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, Who is someone that you look up to and that have, like, helped you in your life so far? Or, like, just helped you in any way? It doesn't have to be in music or anything. Just anything, really. No, yeah, I'd say, honestly, my closest friend, my brother, is uh, my homie Ryan. And I was going through a lot of tough shit. Like, I had to mentally mature at a young age, bro. Like, I was going through suicidal thoughts, and I was barely fucking, like, 16 through 17. Right. So, I was alcoholic and addicted to cigarettes in high school. So, whenever times were hard, and I was, like, on the edge bro on the fucking edge like he was always there fucking pulled up to my house no questions asked just talked to me gave me a hug fucking listened to me like cried with me in my room so like honestly he saved my life and i would not be here without that fool right no nah, definitely bro good friends that always helps man good friends family, yeah, yeah always the people uh, that god brings into your life bro it's fucking crazy it's bro. great bro god man it's crazy uh, what's your favorite style of music besides rap? Do you like, I mean, do you listen to anything other than rap? I mean, I know some people have different genres they like. I have a very versatile sense of music, bro. Like, you can go through my SoundCloud playlist, bro. I have, like, over 40 playlists, like, different artists, different styles, like, X is hard shit. I don't know if you know who Zillikami is. Uh, no, I haven't heard of him. He's more on, like, the trap metal type of thing. But he goes hard as fuck. And then Rage Against the Machine. Fucking, I grew up on, like, rock. My dad's a fucking, he's in a band right now. He was in a band whenever um he was in high school. So, yeah, like, I grew up mostly around rock. And then I got introduced to rap via my sister through Eminem. And then my cousins with, uh, you know, Afro Man, Crazy Rap, Colt 45. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I got introduced to all that. And then my cousins are the ones who show me Capital Steez and Joy Badass. And ever since then, I was one of those kids in fucking high school, bro. Like, 
I always had the speaker on me and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bumping boom bat music and shit, bro. Like spitting it word for word. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's mostly hip hop, like old school 80s, 90s hip hop. Right. But I'd say like, bro, I still be listening to shit that I was listening to when I was a kid. Right. Like Sublime, right. fucking reggae, like Jamaican shit's my shit, bro. So yeah. yeah. Speaking on the old oh, I fuck- what were you saying? Sorry. My bad, my bad. No, I you're good. What were you saying? Too. I fuck with EDM too. Oh, yeah. Dubstep and shit like that. That's my shit. Yes, sir. Speaking on the older music, would you say you're more like, would you lean towards like today's music or would you always lean back to the old school, like 80s stuff? No, yeah. It's mostly more than anything the old school 80s shit. I do have some homies that are like, I don't like to shit on other rappers and shit like that. Like, the new style, I'm not really fucking with it, you feel me? Yeah. But my homies that are more on the new style, they actually have something to say. They speak on their experience rather than, oh, I'm over here doing drugs, I'm doing Xanax, I'm fucking bitches, shit like that. Like, shit that don't even matter, bro. Yeah. Like, materialistic shit. And fucking my homies, bro, like, you would fuck with them, bro. I genuinely believe that. Yeah. Uh, so speaking on like that type of music, how do you get your thought when you're writing music? Like, how do you get the words? And, like, how do you get everything to click? No, yeah, I was honestly waiting for this question, <laughs> bro. Like, honestly, bro, it's the wildest shit ever. Like, I have ADHD super bad. Right. So like, shit's constantly in and out of my head. So like, I think of beats just like, cause I can, bo- I could uh, beatbox and shit like that. So it just naturally comes to my head and then a flow kicks in and then like big ass words, rhyme schemes, all that just kicks in, bro. And it's like, I could be at work, bro. I work at a grocery store and I could be in the middle of an aisle and just some shit clicks in my head and I'm like, got to type that shit down. I don't give a fuck if the boss comes around, bro. (laughs) Hell yeah, bro. That's crazy. Um, So let me see what else I got in here. What do you do? Like, what do you like to do in your downtime besides music? Like, do you got any other hobbies? Sports wise, I mean, video games, obviously, you said. Yeah, shit. Um, I don't know if you knew this about me. I don't know, like, how extensive the research was and all that. I know you, I know you do research, yeah. but fucking, I'm a DJ too. I think so I, like, I, I was doing, I seen read up on a little bit of that on your page. Oh, uh, yeah. That's cool. I like that. Fucking, I just be using the turntables. I don't have them right now, or I would show you because right. my homie borrowed them. Mm-hmm. But, bro, like, Honestly, everything music is just my shit. Like right. I used I used to play football mm-hmm. back in a freshman year. I tried sophomore year and the coach was like, you shouldn't do this. But like, I was like, fuck you, bro. Like fuck football, fuck it, bro. Cause I, our Ram plays good, bro. Yeah. But it was about catching the ball and shit like that. Like now I can catch the ball and I'm like pissed off. Right. That shit, <laughs> um, Another interesting question. If you had $10 billion, what like what would the, be the first thing you buy and why? Honestly, I wouldn't buy a lot. I would buy houses for my family, houses for my peoples, and shit, bro, just give it out, bro, honestly. Because, like, I'm not some materialistic person. Like, I have some shit that I love, fucking my turntables, my PS4, like, my car all that shit bro but like really at the end of the day bro that's nothing that's gonna last forever your soul and what you do in the world and what you put out and how you impact the world that's what lasts forever you feel me that's what'll have people talking and shit like that definitely Uh, so going on that if you like if today was like the last day and like someone was to look you up what would you want them to remember you by i know i asked a couple artists in past podcasts but what would you want them to honestly the message i represented in my music that would be it. The freedom of the people fucking standing up against what's wrong, the tyrannical governments, all that shit, bro. Like everything, bro. Right. Cause I stand for the freedom of the people. That's yeah. my shit. I have Liberty or death tatted on me. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's dope, man. Oh, that. yeah. Um, what's the, some of your top three favorite movies you would like recommend to the audience? Like if you wanted someone <laughs> yeah. like, what's your top three? <laughs> Oh god damn, so many are going through my head right now, bro. Have you uh have you ever heard of They Live? No, what's that one about? It's um you know John Carpenter? Yeah, yep. Yeah, he uh made this movie back in the 80s and it's about this dude um 
I, I don't know his name off the top of my head, but he's a wrestler in WWE, uh, Roddy Piper, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's the main actor, and he finds these sunglasses, bro. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's the trippiest shit ever, bro. Like, he puts them on, and he can see, like, the real world and shit like that. Like, he, fucking billboards that are for, like, they have, like, women and, like, say other shit on them. Mm-hmm. And then it really says consume, buy, like all that shit and then like he looks at some money bro in some dude's hands and it says this is your god on it right so like it's just a plain black and white world and like some people are actually aliens and shit like that like it's a dope fucking movie bro like it sends chills up the spine bro because like low-key that shit might be a documentary bro i don't know about people being aliens and shit but like subliminal messages and shit like that like yeah bro that shit is prevalent in the world but on top of that <laughs> shit probably jaws jaws is my shit as a kid and then fuck bro <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'd have to say friday the 13th because jason's my favorite horror movie killer so okay they they got that new one out don't they or what was that new one they just killed it might have not been friday the 13th i think been. it was a it was scream you're talking about yeah. scream right well yeah. no i don't know if it was scream i don't know it was something they just it just came out of halloween maybe it was called halloween or something like it just oh, halloween. halloween yeah that Tuesday, one right? yeah that one yeah, what was yeah. that one i haven't i haven't seen that one bro but i heard it was shitty bro i'm not gonna lie really? but like that's like sad as fuck for me because I love Michael Myers and shit like that. I even have him, I have it in my lyrics, bro. Like, like one of my bars is I tend to chase him like I'm Jason. Or yeah. like I'm lyrically Michael Myers or some shit like that, bro. Like horror movies are my shit. So that makes me sad to like hear yeah. that that movie was shitty, honestly. No, I, yeah, I feel that way. Uh, do you hear anything about the new Spider Man? Are you into it? Oh, I've Dude, so many fucking people, like close friends to me, are watching that shit, and I'm so fucking jealous because I just want to go out and watch that shit. I know, I do too. Yeah, bro. So I don't got the guap right now. I just got my car fixed because my right. fucking coils connected to my uh, spark plugs went out. Oh so. shit! Damn. What yeah. kind of car you drive? Uh, it's, it's a little rich boy car, but I ain't rich like that. Right. Like, I'm not gonna say I came up from nothing, but like my dad made it obvious, like we're poor, bro. Like right. we're poor. All right. But I got it for the love from my homie, like my best friend Ryan. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a BMW 328i. Hell yeah. And fucking, I got it for like, bro, it's an eleven thousand dollar car. I got it for three. Damn. So that's my boy. That's my best friend, bro. Yeah. See, I look. I work in an auto parts store, and I know BMWs. Oh are- shit. Yeah, BMWs. Are- <laughs> Man, that's they're a bitch. They're a bitch. That's crazy, bro. I can't even. Oh my gosh. How many miles has it got? Uh, eighty six. I put Damn. six on it. That's low. That's low, bro. Yeah. Hey, you got to steal on that one. Um, my bad. My dad watched. Oh, you're good. No, you're good. I I don't mean to keep looking. I got my notes right here. So if you see me yeah, looking, don't even worry about it. All right. No, yeah, you're um, cool. What are some of the mistakes you made in your life that you regret, or like you wish you could change? I mean, if it gets too personal, you obviously don't got to say anything. But like some. Bro, don't even trip bro it's all good i wouldn't say necessarily i regret any decisions in my life because i wouldn't be where i'm at today you feel me like all the experiences in my life i'm extremely thankful for but at the end of the day there is some shit where i wish i didn't go through like (laughs) it's kind of personal but trying to kill myself and other shit like that fucking I'm not going to re- say I regret, like, one of my last relationships, but that shit was shitty. Like, like it was good in its good parts, but I was treated like shit, you feel me? Oh, no, I didn't know. Like, did. Yeah. Yeah. God bless her and all that, but, like, right. at the end of the day. It's but, And then going to jail. <laughs> right, yeah, that's. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah that, 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 that was an experience. Yeah. Hell yeah. Did you um did you ever have like a time in your life where you're like when you wanted to stop making music, like maybe something nothing was just clicking and you were just like, Man, fuck this, I'm done, I don't want to do it anymore. There was times where I had doubts of myself about that. And then I really thought about it. It's like I prayed for this shit, you feel me? I prayed for this shit. So doubting myself, that would be doubting God. Okay. Doubting my talent, that would be doubting what was gifted to me. All right. So I just kept it going no matter what. And, like, I realized, like, 
every time I hit a writer's block, I just got to give it a little bit, bro. Inspiration will always come. Creation will always come. Yep. Hell yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, another interesting question. I asked a couple other ones. Uh, if you could date any celebrity, why? who would you date and why? I know I asked this one a couple times, the past ones. She's not technically a celebrity, but she kind of is on Instagram. It's this girl called, uh, her name's Not Sick on Instagram. She's a skater girl. So I'll tatted down all that shit. She's just beautiful, bro. That's yep. it. And she skates like a motherfucker. Like, I love skateboarding, bro. That's dope. So, yeah. Um, I don't think I've asked this one. If you were to write a book about yourself, what would it be and why? Like, what would it be called and why? <laughs> That's hard. I know. See, that's that's, that's a hard, that's a deep question, bro. Right? Because yeah. I gotta really think on that one. All right. Honestly, I would probably name it after my collective, Public Eradication, and like, there's a whole deeper meaning behind that, behind my name, all that shit. I don't know if you want to get into all that. You go ahead. I'm, go ahead. I'm all for so, it. So, villainous kamikaze, villainous, because I will be betrayed as a villain for speaking right. my truth. Right. And then kamikaze for how I'm attacking the game. I'm fucking coming at that shit on surprise. You feel me? Yeah. But also in that, there's three eyes, mm-hmm. like capital C's, third eye shit, all that shit. And then public eradication is a pro era inspired rap group, but it also borrows from public, like public enemy, mm-hmm. which inspired pro era. And then the era part is the beginning three letters of eradication. So there's like, there's three eyes in that too. So it's a whole lot deeper. You feel me? Like I put a lot of thought into this shit. No, that's good. The, yeah, them's all my boys. Like, honestly, it would be like, it wouldn't even just be about me. It'd probably be like a good chunk of my life. And then all the people I met personally and even over the internet that are in the group. I haven't even met some of the people. Yeah. Like my boy, Pen Conscious on that track, Eternity, mm-hmm. he's out in Colorado. And then my boy Jabba, Jimmy Miracle Golden. That's his that's his real name, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. But, uh, no, yeah. He told me that. I was like, bro, what? <laughs> right. What the- he's out in Florida. So like, and I got a homie named Cy. Mm-hmm. He's out fucking Hawaii. So it's really on some worldwide shit. You feel right. me? Yeah. Like, honestly, it would just be about the progression of that. And then honestly, what we stand for, what I stand for as a person some of my experience like i said like all that bro it would just be like a huge conglomerate bro It'd be like right. my bible i don't want to say right. that i feel fucked up saying that but like yeah <laughs> no i get it i get it uh do you have you, had, you got any tracks or projects you're working on that's coming out or coming out soon i know i was going through your page i didn't see anything you posted but yeah honestly i haven't been the most consistent bro like forbidden right. knowledge was dropped that was my first like real song and it's not even professionally recorded right. like i do want to re-record that and then eternity believe it or not bro that's my first time ever touching the studio Damn. it's my first time ever in the studio and i was nervous as shit bro but like i killed that shit still right. not to sound like conceited or nothing but oh, you're good no yeah but honestly I have a lot of shit in the works, bro, but it's just, like, a lot going at one time. You feel me? Just, like, planning shit out. Fucking, I've got a song that I'm trying to release with all my collective group members, and honestly, bro, it's, like, 12 people. Hell, yeah. Fucking, we're gonna we're gonna do the oldie beat from Odd Future. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, like, a 10-minute track. So, like, even if we gotta, like, link that out a little bit, it'll be all good. But, and then on top of that, mostly because i have i have like so many notes in my phone bro i have like 655 in my notes That's crazy. so like i have a lot of tracks in mind to drop it's just about which one to drop when to drop it and it's also about finding time to get in the studio because i'll be working and then i'll be wanting to go to sleep after work and all that shit you feel me and then i just recently had covid back mm-hmm. in uh october fucking kick that shit's ass god bless everyone who ain't and then on right after i got congested because of the uh the season change and shit like that so like it's just like little stepping stones i gotta get over you feel me but i do have projects in mind not really named yet 
I like eradicate the public, not to be like kill right. everybody and shit like right. that, but it's like eradicate the public view of the truth. You feel me? Like fucking get rid of the lies and shit like that. So it's just a whole lot of shit. I've got a group project in the mind called A Right to Be Hostile, mm-hmm. but hostile is a hostile is spelled H O S T and then a dash and then I L L because we're ill, bro. Like, right. you feel me? Like, gotta yeah. be ill about it. Oh, yeah. But yeah, um, that's, that's really it for the most part. Oh, yeah. Have you done, have you ever done any live performances or anything like that? Like actual, like out on stage. I was gonna ask you about that because I didn't know. Nothing on, nothing on stage yet, bro. Honestly, I'm like trying to hit as many open mics as I can, literally right. events as I can, mm-hmm. until I can start booking shit. You feel me? Because right. like this music, it ain't about the money at all. I don't want to sell my music on any platforms or anything like that. I want it free because it, it has a message to it. You feel me? But I do want to make revenue in, say, selling out shows and shit like that. Like. My first performance, bro, not to be, like, jumping in between topics and shit like that. Oh, you're good, no. My, my first performance, it was out in Santa Monica. I don't know. Are you, where are you from? I'm Ohio. I'm from Ohio. You're Oh, yeah, you're from you're from Cali, right? California, that's yeah. Okay, that's dope, yeah. No, yeah, but um, it was Santa Monica Pier, and there's this little section that it leads down to this parking lot that leads to the beach right. and connects to the pier. So... There was this, like, old dude, bro, like, hanging outside his Jeep. Right. And he's like, bro, I shit you not. He's, like, probably, like, 60-some years old. And he just has this fat-ass fucking Bluetooth speaker out the back of his car and a microphone. He's asking people to come sing. Right. So I'm, like, clicks in my head, bro. I'm, like, yo, can I perform? Right. And then he's, like, yeah, bro. And that was my first time ever performing. So I'm, like, scared as shit, bro. There's hella people. It's nighttime, bro. Like, so... I just run up, I turn on the instrumental because I don't like rapping over my songs. Right. Like the only song I'll probably ever rap over is like anything I have like as a collaboration with somebody that's out of state you feel me because they can't be there to perform and I do want to represent them. So I put on the seventh chamber beat by Wu-Tang Clan, spit my shit, just trying to a victim. They became the victim. Motherfucker, the system, they take the truth and twist it. And then like, Bro, it was like crazy because hearing my voice over the speaker, it was like the song was playing. Right. So I was just rapping to it basically, bro. Yeah. And like, bro, it was the funniest shit ever. Two dudes come up recording like this, and I end it with my name is Villainous Kamikaze coming out of Rancho Cucamonga. And these dudes look at each other, they're like, he just say Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> Cause like, bro, like my city, it's not represented well. Right. Like the Inland Empire, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's a lot of people that try to sound like Shoreline Mafia right. or rap about shit that they don't do. Right. So it's like, I got to be different. You feel me? I got to be original about it. And there's surprisingly a good amount of people that rap like me, bro. Like, right. I fucking met a couple of the homies. One of the homies that's in my group, he raps old school shit. So it's, it's good to see, like... Right our city properly get represented rather than, oh, I just fucked your old bitch. I just did some drugs, like right. all that shit. Nah, yeah. I get it. It's getting, it's getting tired, bro. Like, it honestly, is. I have the biggest feeling the old school shit is making a comeback. It is. I, I feel that. I definitely, yeah. No, yeah. Like people are starving for that shit, bro. Right. Honestly. It, you're right. You're right. Um, Before we wrap this up, you got anybody you want to shout out? Anybody in your homies? Like, I mean, I know you mentioned a couple, but. My boy Ryan, my boy Pink Conscious, my boy Jay Rich, my boy T Dub, my boy fucking P Dot Bang. I have a lot, bro. My bad. Oh, go ahead. You're good. I'll go ahead. My boy Micah, my boy fucking Isaac. Uh fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't want to forget anybody. My right. boy Leo, my go boy ahead. fucking Ella people, the homegirl Alana, bro. It was like yeah. everybody, everybody right. watching this that support me. I got love for you all. God bless you all. Last question I'm going to ask. I ask everybody. Do you have, what's your advice on any upcoming artist or anybody that, anybody that wants to do anything in life, what would you give them? Like, what's your best advice to trying to reach a goal? No. Yeah. Just, just be yourself, bro. Honestly, just be yourself. Do what you got to do. Fuck what anybody thinks. Just fucking 
Do what you got to do. Make your dreams work. If you could see it, you could fucking do it. Anything you put your mind to, you can fucking do it. Best believe. God bless. And fucking, like I said, just do what you got to do. <laughs> well, appreciate it, Larry White Podcast. Go check Kamikaze yes, out. Sir. Get you coming on, bro. See you yeah, guys. of course, bro. Anytime, bro. If you want to another one, I'm always oh, down. I'm down, bro. I'm always down for a conversation. Yes. All right, All right. for sure, bro. You have a blessed night. God bless you, and thank you for the opportunity. No problem. Peace, bro.